Welcome to New Sport TV College Cup Special. The Samba Spirit is in full swing as we along with the rest of campus are gearing up for the eagerly anticipated football tournament College Cup 2012. The first week's action is already underway and as ever College Cup is the talk across campus and social networking sites alike. As with any tournament we are guaranteed upset, shocks, triumphs and moments of pure magic. This year's tournament promises to be an epic journey for everybody involved. With the tournament's hype picking up a frantic pace, it was only fitting that we got a couple of big names to join us in the studio to discuss the tournament further. Joining me on the coveted red sofas today is Dave Lewis and Oscar Lynch of Halifax and James College respectively. Welcome gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Cheers, so let's get straight to it. What makes the College Cup so special? For me, it's got to be just the buzz that's going around campus. Like right now, everyone's bigging up the chances. Everyone's saying, oh, who's going to win? Who's going to play well? It's fantastic. It just sets a fantastic atmosphere up going into the summer. And added to that, we've got the fantasy football as well, which brings people down to the JLD, which probably wouldn't normally come. And have an interest in the football itself, but are really eager to see how their fantasy football team's doing. OK, so straight to the nitty gritty. Who's going to win the College Cup this year? The three pre-tournament favourites were Derwent, Halifax and James. But after Derwent's subpar performance, I think they can't really justify their favourites tag. Yeah, I'd agree. I think Derwent were pretty underwhelming against Langworth. Um, I think James and Halifax were in with a shot. I can't see Goodrick doing anything, I can't see Alquin doing anything. So yeah, I'd say it's pretty much that with a two-horse race by now. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> so what about individuals? Who's going to really stand out this tournament? For me, I think you've got to go with the uh, veterans, the likes of Phil Taylor, Don Green was showing some lovely touches, but equally you've got your uni players, so your likes of uh, Tom Clark, James Davis, uh, Beadle. There's, there's very many though who are, going to, who are going to put on a good show this summer. Yeah, also you find a lot of gems lower down in the teams. For example, Halifax 3 is having a lovely player in Ricardo Coella. Also, Wentworth 2's Lackey Murray, amazing performance quality the other day. Players, quality players. Cool, so finally, how would you go about summing it up in one word? I'll give you one word, nutty. For me, Matt, I'd probably say the biggest sports tournament this summer, easy. Brilliant, lads. So as well, you know, you've picked your fantasy football teams. Who do you think who do you think is going to be in there? Ben Smith. Cool. Benny and Smith, Oscar. yeah, he's a bit of a bargain, Benny Smith. He was about two mil. I'll tell you what, Max Pointer Hall for uh, Vanbrugh. I can't remember which team he plays for in Vanbrugh. Sorry, Oscar, we're going to have to cut you out just about yeah, there. Fair enough. So now, earlier on this week, New Sport TV caught up with Jack Beadle of Halifax First. This is it. Best trainer? Well, we've probably got a few, but I think Tom Day, Tom Day loves his training. First in at training, last to leave, loves shooting, loves getting Johnny Sim out of bed to get a few shots at goal. So yeah, definitely Tom Day. Again, we've, we've got a few, but Ash Daly loves the skill, loves the trick, loves the flip, loves the nutmeg. And for him, he takes that straight from the training ground into game. So unfortunately, yeah, it's Ash Daly. We've got a few very quick players, but Elliot Reagan, hands down. Over 100 metres, Elliot Reagan is unstoppable. I've heard he's, he actually ran for England schoolboys, so, you know, there's no one quicker than him. <laughs> In terms of the Joker, I'm going to take that one. In terms of banter, jokes on the training ground, there's no one close. I'm hands down, I'm definitely the Joker there. We've got a few players who love a moan. I think Matt Morsey loves a moan. Paco loves the moan. On their day, Dan Turley loves nothing better than a good moan. Get out of the system. We've got, we've got a few love a tackle. Tom Day, Dan Turley. But I think, you know, a bit understated here. Gio loves the tackle. Nothing better than getting stuck in. 50-50, he's there. Best answer. We've got a few who would love that accolade, but again, I'm getting, I'm going with the best answer. Um, I've got one two with the sprinkler and mixed reactions, but it's an absolute crowd pleaser. Ash Daly in particular has got a pair of red trousers, which just, it just doesn't work. It's horrendous. It's gonna, it's gonna be very close this year. There's, there's a couple of very good teams. But for me, Halifax football, you know, we've prepared well, we're going into the tournament very confident and we've got to be favourites. 
Great words from a great man, I think you'll agree. Now here at New Sport, we like to mix it up a little. We strive to go that extra mile. And this week, our guest Dave and Oscar will be competing in a little challenge we like to call Road to the JLD. They have joined Cat in the studio arena. That's right, the boys are all fired up and ready to go. The aim of the game is to shoot the ball through the letter D as many times as they can in 45 seconds. Each time they do this, they will gain a point. The person with the most amount of points at the end of the 45 seconds will be the winner and will gain respect for their college. Are you ready, Dave? Yep. Great. How are you, Oscar? Buzzing for it. Let the game begin. Get into position. Woo! Ladies first, ladies first. Three, two, one, go! Who is the real winner? Now comes the time to find out who the winner of the first ever Road to the JLD is. The winner is nobody because none of you got it in. Commiserations both of you. What a great game. That's all from me. Back to you Matt in the studio. Thanks Kat. Now that concludes our show today but keep up to date with the latest College Cup action on the new sport website and the Twitter hype online. Until next time, it's a goodbye from me and we will see you down at the JLD.